Welcome everyone. My title for today is indeed Praying with Scripture, and I'd like to divide it into two segments. One, a kind of theoretical segment, so the theory behind the idea of praying with Scripture, and then a kind of practical segment, so some suggestions for putting this theory into practice. I'll begin with Ronald Rollheiser's uh, comment from The Holy Longing. Uh, he says that spirituality is about what we do with the fire inside us, about how we channel our arrows. And that, he also says, and that a saint is someone who can channel powerful arrows in a, in a creative, life-giving way. He says spirituality is what we do with the desire, the dis-ease, the unrest that lies at the heart of our being. And he quotes Augustine, who in the Confessions says, You have made us for yourself, Lord, and our hearts are restless until they rest in you. Notice that Augustine's statement is in the form of a prayer. You have made us for yourself, Lord. I'd like to think about prayer as the voice or the expression of the holy longing that Ronald Rollheiser talks about. This prayer, this expression, can be expressed, can be put eloquently in words, as in Augustine's Confessions, or it can be expressed without words. 